Hey folks, how y'all doing out there? You are back, Big Cheesy, for another reaction video. This time it is for Elden Ring. Now, normally I don't come to you guys with anything that I'm not super pumped, super excited about, but I really, I kind of felt like I had to do one on this. And I'm not pumped. I'm not excited. I'm really not, and I'm, I'm, I'm really gutted that I'm not, because I was, I was looking forward to this game. And after the trailer, and this is a slightly different trailer than the one that probably for E3, I think, because this one's a bit more gameplay-ish into it, um, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I, th I think this is the right, uh, the right one I'm looking for. Um, I'm not that excited. Like, I cannot deny that it looks pretty. That much I, I'm with 100% on. Like, look, I mean, even that stock scene, that, like, no, still, still scene, that looks very pretty. But look, I'm going to play this, and we'll go through it a little bit at the end. We'll go through it a little bit during, but, I mean, yeah, I'm not looking forward to this, guys. A new world created. The tarnished will soon return. Oh, will they? Guided by grace. Big, pretty Let golden tree of light. Standing against darkness. A little too on the nose for me. Cliche, maybe. I don't know, the but. The golden order is broken what to is its it? core. Oh, no, not the core. Casual pulling and moves out of the ass trick, okay. <laughs> Foul tarnished. In search of the Elden Ring. See, even that line doesn't feel like it was delivered right to me, but I. Context is everything, I suppose, but. And they will die in an unending curse. Wow, is a champion or a lord. To be born. Well, a lowly tarnished, playing as a lord. I command thee. Okay, all right, let's just stop. Let's just stop. Okay, so before anyone, like, you know, gets to the comments and goes, fuck you, you goddamn crazy bad. Elden Ring looks amazing. This is just my opinion, all right? And I would say as well, before the trailer, I was super excited for Elden Ring. I've been looking forward to Elden Ring. I really have been. Okay, first, yes, the scripting, the writing, I'm not buying. Like, I, I brandish the Elden Ring for all of us. What the fuck? What? Is that brandishing enough for you? Hey, like, okay. I mean, that's, that's seriously, okay. That's nitpicking a little bit. But okay, right, so. I cannot deny the game looks good, all right? I can't deny that the monsters look, some of the monsters look pretty cool. The bosses, like, they look pretty cool, okay? Um, they look great, right? But there are quite a few bits which do not. Like, I mean, as much as that looks cool, these legs and thing, but these guys don't look good. I, I, I mean, I, I just don't, I don't. I don't know, maybe I'm just being really critical, but I've seen some, some fantastic character and monster models out there for a lot of games now. Like, 
And a game that's had like this much hype, this much um, rep building up for it, which is fantastic. Which I just, I guess, I just expect more. I, I guess out of this kind, of, out of this game, and like. Again, and this is like another thing I get, not a nitpicking thing, but this is another thing which, which really worries me, is that with this trailer, even with this trailer, right, I'm pretty sure this is the one that had a bit more gameplay element to it than the one that was E3 or something. Um, there was not a lot of gameplay. For a game that has been in development for quite a while, for a fair while now, which I think is fair, a fair while now, there was really not a lot of gameplay. There was, it was a great trailer, it was very exciting, like for some of the bits of it, for some people, but there was not a lot of gameplay. And the bits that there were, were very typical. You know, roll this way, slash. Somehow I get a big magical lightsaber sword. Fair enough, whatever. Okay, we'll go do the thing. It looks good-ish. It's just very ish for me. It's not very, it's not exciting me. It really isn't. I know, I, lo I love a fantasy game. I love a mythical game. I love all that kind of thing. I love, I. What sucks, what sucks me in though is a wonderful story and part of that storytelling love I guess is from the people who talk in it from the people who are telling the story and it doesn't sound like it, this, it doesn't sound like bits have been done right for that like okay so wait a minute where is it where is it where is that last bit it's like there ish right is it here ish yeah Brandish the Elden Ring. Right? What the fudge is that? Wield the Elden Ring or something. If it's got power, whatever. Like, you know. And foul tarnish hunting the Elden Ring. I, I, I would I want to be proven wrong on this game. I really do. I was super excited for it, okay? And I mean, there are good things here. Like, some of the bosses, some of the bosses, okay, look pretty cool, right? Um, lightsaber bit kind of looks all right. I mean, it looks stupid, do wrong, but it looks all right, right? And, you know, you've got, I mean, you've got the dragon, which looked pretty, de pretty dope, to be fair. Right? The dragon looked pretty kick-ass. I can't fault the dragon. That dragon, no, I mean, that still looks pretty cool. I can't, you know... But it's just, oh, there it is, that's a dragon. With the lightning behind it and the tree of light next to it. I'm guessing that's where we're gonna end everything, but I don't know, man. It's just, it feels very much been there, doesn't it? And maybe that's because there was not much gameplay to this one, but I don't know. I'm not, I'm not that excited by this anymore. I really was excited by this. I was really looking forward to this, but now I'm just, I'm, yeah, sorry. Anyone out there who's a huge fan of this is really looking forward to this. Fair enough. I mean, it might pop up on the channel eventually. I'm, I mean, I'm looking forward to be proven wrong on this game. But I don't know. I just, I feel like parts of it is just too cliche. Parts of it, and this is coming from someone who's called Cheesy. Um, <laughs> and I just, I don't know. I mean, I did, there were bits of writing there, but this is your trailer. This is what's meant to suck people in. And this really, this has put me off more than anything. This has just put me off more than anything. Anyway, that is just my opinion, right? If you, you know, if you feel differently, please let me know in the comments. Let me know you're excited for this game. I would love, I want this game to do well. I really, I want this game to do well. It's just, and I, like I said, I, I was really rooting for it before the trailer. I really, I wish I hadn't watched the trailer. I wish I hadn't watched the trailer, because I, yeah, it's put me off a bit, unfortunately. I don't know why. But it's just feel, it's just feel, man. The feel's gonna be right, especially when you're buying into what is probably gonna be quite a big, long story. Um, and I love, I do love a big, long story. I love buying into that kind of game. You know, that's why we're playing like Mass Effect now on the channel. And like, you know, I, I've got no problem with a big, long story. I've got no problem with cliche, I really don't. But just, you know, when there's so much of it. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below, okay? If you were excited for this game, tell me what you're excited about. Tell me what maybe I've missed or I'm being ultra critical on. Tell me, let me know. I like kind of back and forth. I like discussing this kind of thing. Um, but anyway, in the meantime, stay happy, stay positive, stay cheesy out there. And if you like what I said, if you prefer a bit of the honesty now and again, uh, then let me know in the comments too. Check some cheddar on that like button. Subscribe to the family if you haven't already. Um, and ring that bell so it's a minute of cheddar action. Bye-bye, guys.